And there we go. Okay, we are off. Let's watch this thing lift off. And, um, yeah, last episode, last week, we, we I was working on this. You saw me working on it, so there's really not much more to talk about. I did get in on the rover and tweaked a couple of things, mostly just textures, and I put on a couple of more lights. You can see we're launching at this lovely sunset, too. So I put some more lights on the rover. We'll see that in just a little bit. But maybe just to talk a little bit about this vessel, because this connects into this, um, not so much for this mission, but this is uh, the Nerve One. It is a vessel that is a nuclear vessel with nerve engines capable of traversing within the Kerbin system. That is, go from low Kerbin orbit, out to the moon, out to Minmus, get in orbit around those bodies, come back, that kind of thing. And it's in that orbit because it had returned from Minmus in some previous stream. And um, it's just sort of sitting there, just partially fueled. The crew have come down to the surface. I rendezvoused a craft with it and brought them down again some point in the past. But I thought what might be a great thing to do after this mission, that vessel deserves a station. Some sort of like Minmus gateway station that's mostly there as a fuel depot, right? That it can dock with, crew can transfer in and out, it can fuel itself back up, maybe stock up on other resources like food and water and that kind of thing, and then head back out to Minmus again. And keeping it in that six degree inclined orbit will help facilitate its journey out towards Minmus. So that craft can be, and that station can be dedicated for going to and from Minmus. Uh, I have another station in an equatorial orbit that can be dedicated to going to and from the moon. And I think that should work out pretty good. So I think once this rover mission is done with, I think that's what I'll probably devote the rest of this stream with is, um, is going towards seeing the start to put together some sort of a station up there. Uh, as for this, wow, this looks really pretty <laughs> with the sun in the background and the clouds below from the environmental visual enhancements and scatterer and waterfall giving us this really beautiful uh, rocket plume coming off of there. And I'm just sort of sneaking my way through, through the chat. But anyway, that was sort of what the plan is for the stream. And we'll be losing this fairing momentarily. This should take care of everything all on its own. Once I think it's 50 kilometers we lose the fairing. Hopefully nothing will go wrong here. Am I putting gravity turn into it or am I putting in some inputs? I'm not putting in any inputs because my KOS script is actually doing everything. But as you can see, the KOS script, if you look down here at the roll pitch and yaw indicators, it's not doing very much either. It is for the most part doing a gravity turn with odds little tweaks just to keep it going on the right track. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, we must have hit our target apoapsis. We did, so we are gliding up into space, and we can sort of see. Why don't we do a little bit of time warping here? A little bit low, and this is a very draggy payload. Uh, yeah, I just I put, I, I didn't do very much. Uh, changed textures on the Rove Max because I thought it would look a little bit better. Added a couple more lights, which we'll see momentarily. Well, maybe not. Uh, okay, just deployed everything. Yeah, a couple of lights here and some blinky lights down here, which we'll see better when it's down towards the surface. Sorry, I got a bit of a sore throat here. <clears throat> uh, the only other thing I did to it is I took my KOS probe body and moved it from down here in the booster, which is for some, some dumb reason where I had it before, up here onto the payload because that way I can keep using my KOS script as we continue to progress through our journey. <clears throat> All right, uh, where are we here? Let's time warp a little, still a minute away from this burn.
All right, getting ready to do the circularization. Again, KOS is handling all of this for me. This is a, for people that are new to this stream, this is a uh, launch script that I wrote. I started writing it literally years ago and then I've just been adding and adding to it and uh, it does this, oh, look at that. It does this whole business for me, which is really pretty nice. Still over 300 meters per second. Oh, well, it'll be under 300 meters per second when this is all said and done. So lots of fuel left in that booster. And there we go. Uh, yeah, that's pretty nice. 79 by 78, more or less. Okay. Um, I think I am going to lose and deorbit the booster. There is a pro body down in there, so I should be able to stage this. Go back to this, flip this around to retrograde, there it goes, and just get rid of the debris. This will not be recovered, I'm not doing any kind of SpaceX Falcon 9 thing. Just give it a little bit of a push here because I don't want the... You can push the your payload with those exhaust fumes. Alright, that's probably good enough. There we go, and we'll just deorbit this. There we are, and then we'll go back. So that'll just crash. It'll be removed, but right now we have this little guy. All right, that is awesome. Let's switch to our vessel because I should have software aboard. I do. That is awesome. Okay, so let's plot our course to Minmus. So now that we're in... Let's get rid of you. Let, now that we're in this orbit that's in the same plane as Mimmus's orbit, it makes getting to Mimmus much, much, much easier. It's the way I would always recommend going out towards Mimmus. There we are. Oh, that's the moon. Oh, I hope that doesn't turn into a problem. Having a moon encounter. I might have to flip it over to the next orbit because the moon seems to be determined to be in my way. Let's see. Get this out. There we are. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna maybe miss the moon. All right. Now, one thing is I do have some contracts. Uh, where's my contract windows? Of course, everything is all in. And I think I set this up in a mission. Uh, yeah, I did not. Okay, so <laughs> I did not organize this at all. No. So where are my two contracts? There, I have this do a robotic and scout for suit. So these are my two contracts. So one is to do a uh, rover on Minmus. We got to go to site Alpha, site Beta, and site Charlie. That definitely looks like them over here. Oh, they look a little further apart than I would like. And I don't like that they're on a bit of a hill, but I think I'm just going to have to live with that. And then I have another contract, which is to scout around for a suitable place for a Minmus base, which I think means just landing a rover and then just driving around for a couple of minutes i really i hope that it doesn't end up having me make well we'll see we'll deal with it as we deal with it but right now let's pick our approach to min miss so that uh it will facilitate landing there so we're gonna go over to our maneuver here we're gonna hit this little guy and let's see first oh the other way oh Okay, we're going to need to give us a little more oomph. That was too much oomph. Dial this in a bit. You can see that we are getting to Minmus without having to do any sort of massive any any correction at all on the way here now we are going to have to do a correction because i'm going to have to bring this trajectory down below here so we're going to end up going into a, a an inclined orbit just to facilitate landing there actually to be honest 
now that I'm thinking about it, thinking's always a good thing. I don't have to be over this for this trajectory. I just need to be at an inclination that's high enough to that this will at some point go under it. I think that's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. Bring it down to about 10 kilometers. That's good enough. Okay. I think we're just going to go with that. And that burn's coming up in only um, just under 18 minutes. So let's do that. So my engines, uh, my engines are ready to go. I always quick save at these points. <laughs> I don't know why. Just before I time warp. I don't know. I've gotten burned time warping before. Let's change the view to here. That's better. Okay, and I do have a maneuver executing bit of software that's going to take care of that for us. So it locks itself onto the maneuver node. Eventually, it's getting there. There we go. Getting ready to go. Do all these mods work in 1.12.3? The answer to that question is yes, because I am currently running 1.12.3. Uh, there is a provisal. Not all those mods are technically compatible with 1.12.3, but with my experience, they seem to be working anyway. And my advice, when it, you can often install old mods. Uh, you just have to... My advice would be to go to the forums and read what people are saying on the forums. And if people are saying on the forums, you know, this seems to be working for me, then go for it. You know, back up your game and go for it. Okay, we are golf. There we are. Mighty spark engine on the back here. That is more than good enough for this job. Inclination should be the latitude of the target, says John in the chat, and he is 100% right. So once we are in, I should be able to, all these tools that are starting to come back to me. I do have a mod called Maneuver Waypoint Manager. And yes, see here, it does give me the latitudes of those Alpha Beta sites. I don't know why I have two of each of them. And they're in around the 23, 22, 24, somewhere in 22, 24 degree range. So I definitely want an inclination that's at least 24 degrees, probably closer to 25 degrees. But we won't be able to know what that inclination is until we are in Mimis's SOI. But we'll definitely make sure of that when we get there. All right. This is just about there. Let's watch this from Mimis's perspective. And Mimis is such a small body that making plane changes in around Mimis is not expensive. So I'm really kind of inclined to just, well, I don't know if I'll do a correction or not on the way here. Okay, is this thing done? It says burn complete. Where is my, it is not quite there. Cut a little bit early. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this thrust limiter way down. I am just realizing that I did not... How many um, ignitions does this thing have on it? Reliability. 16 ignitions, that should be fine. I didn't upgrade any of the components. Which, of course, Kerbalism... Uh, well, it should be okay. This is not exactly a long-term mission. Okay, I'm just going to keep this locked onto Prograde. And we'll just kind of... Just bring this in. A little bit of a burn. Get it around 10 kilometers or so. That's good enough. All right, so that cleans that up. Um, I think I'm just gonna make all my corrections out towards Minmus. I think I think we're ready to go. So let's align up our solar panels which I have a script for that as well. I 
think I called this D for dorsal, a line dorsal. There it goes. And that's to give, again, it's been so long. Yes, nice exposure for the solar panels to the sun. Not nice. <laughs> it all looks so good and then it turned 90 degrees. Okay, so uh, let's... <laughs> I thought I had that all set up perfectly and oh, 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 I'm still in here. Okay, so work on that. Okay. Fortunately, software is only as smart as the person who programmed it and that person was me. Okay, that's better exposure for the solar panels. All right. Um, boom, 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 boom. Let's, let's use this alarm clock here. This is... Uh, where is it? Here. I really got to get used to... you. Oh, then it pops up under this. I don't like that. Okay, never mind. Don't like where that comes up, so we'll use the built-in herbal alarm clock, which is almost the same thing. It's designed by the same person. We're going to look for an SOI change. Yeah, give me a minute warning. That's in 8 days, 2 hours, and 42 minutes. So there we go. We'll put that down there. Go to here. Actually... Why don't we just give ourselves a nice view of Kerbin, so we can see it, and we will warp, warp to that. My Kerbin. Okay, I gotta go faster. Oh, there goes the moon. I knew it was gonna be close, and we should be seeing Minmus coming at us at some point. I'm over coming at us from out of the sun it looks like over here there's min miss sorry I had it completely wrong okay delete that and get rid of the long clock We'll just go into the SOI change. No science being done. Let's put this on here. Uh, I've done all the science that we have to do. So let's see here. Uh, what is our inclination? That's what I'm looking at. Our inclination. Well, I guess I got to look down here. Should put that. Is 25 point, I think it should be fine. 26 degrees, 25.9 degrees is our inclination. If we take a look at Waypoint Manager, our waypoints that we're aiming for all have inclinations less than that. So I think what I shall just do is tell you what, let's point radially inwards. That should be radially inwards. I want to look to see. Yeah, that looks reasonable. I'm just going to bring down this periapsis just a little bit. I got to remember to turn that thrust limiter back up. Good enough. And then I also have a program to do a circularization at periapsis. And there we go, there's our circularization orb. And these are all things I can do manually as well, but it sure is nice to, um, to deal with that. Sorry, um, you know, not have to fiddle with stuff. Okay, I do have to upgrade this thrust limiter. 100%. That's a 12 second burn. Uh, otherwise, yeah, let's just uh, let's just get down there. So, Oop. coming at you, man, miss. All right, and we will run our maneuver executor. I'm seeing suggestions in the chat for improvements on uh, my scripts, these KOS programs, which I certainly do appreciate. Um, I'm just 
I, don't, I haven't looked at them in so long. It's always the problem with coding is you leave them alone for a long time and then when you go to look at them again, half the battle is just figuring out what was I thinking when I wrote this. <laughs> Despite trying to make it as clear as I can, I always have that issue. Okay, so we have ourselves a 158 circuit, uh, meter, meter per second circularization burn. Still 346 meters per second left in this vehicle and this thing's the thing that's going to land it can it's got little engines tucked in here for that part but i think i'll use this for the de for a good portion of the descent might as well and we'll see what we got here oh yeah 10 by 10 that's fine that's good i'm happy with that as good as i can do uh, we'll close that. I don't think we need that anymore. And I think the solar panels are good enough. This thing's not using a lot of electricity yet. So let's take a look at our situation here and see, because we got to land at a specific spot. Here are our destinations. So we're clearly going to have to do some time warping. Um, hopefully we'll be in the daylight, but there certainly is no guarantee of that. We're just going to have to kind of hope for the best. Now, I do have, I do have ScanSat installed. We can bring up a nice map of Mimis here. And you can see here, it's actually showing us our orbit, which is really cool. And you should, I should be able to, yep, get a zoom in on just that section. Right? And you can see our orbit, the blue is the orbit that's ahead of us, and the orange is the orbit that's behind us, and you can see by how much the orbit shifts as Minmus rotates. So with each orbit, the it's going to shift further towards the west. And at some point, it'll sh this blue one will be enough towards the west that it'll be going over these waypoints. That's when we're going to be at our window, and that's going to be not for a little while, so... Da da da! <laughs> Watch it riding the wave. I think we're gonna get it in the daylight though. That's nice. Unless I need to refresh the map. Oh, burned! It's gonna be a night landing, but I don't care. We're gonna have to deal with a night landing. Okay. I got too much, too many windows here. That's as small as that gets. Just so you can see the map here, what's happening. So we're just waiting for these to come under our orbit. Okay, so let's slow down here a little bit. If we take a look at this, move from here to here. So this blue one's our next orbit. I think the orbit after that's going to work pretty well. So it's really nice to have these predictions, which, by the way, is taken into account Mimis's rotation, too. So here we are coming by our waypoints. But you can see our next orbit here. Bam! On our next over, even though it's kind of hard to see it here, by here we can see our next orbit's going very much over these waypoints. So... We're going to be ready to do this thing. So, uh, la -da -da -da. let's time warp over to about a third of an orbit ahead. I don't like the fact we're landing at night, but especially with the fact that this craft is solar paneled or solar powered, that kind of stinks. But I really don't think, I mean, there'll probably be some point in the future when this will both pass under our orbit and be on the daylight side, but I do not want to wait for that time to come. All right, we got tons of fuel aboard, so it shouldn't be an issue. Uh, let's do this. Let's get rid of this. I've got too many windows. We're going to close some of these windows. Let's open up Waypoint Manager. And we shall select... What is this one here? The upper one. 
We'll select U as our target. This is Charlie. So we'll let, we'll, we're going to set that as a target. And yeah, that means it's popping up on our nap ball. Okay. Let's point retrograde. Let's zoom this map out a bit. That helps. And lose this map. Just to reduce the number of windows we're dealing with. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's start burning. Just check here visually that I'm pointing the way I want to. Yep. Okay. That should be pretty good. Now, I have to remember when I get down there, it isn't flat. It is lumpy. So I have to be aware of that. Okay, let's go to here. Let's see what we got. So I'm going to roll it so that the blue is up. I always find that helps me out. Whoops. And then I meant to push V to change it to chase so the ground is below me. And oh, I can see my waypoints right over here. I can see that I got to come this way visually now. So let's do a little bit of that. Okay, stop. Just bringing that trajectory over. A little more. That looks pretty good. So now I should be heading pretty much right in the right area. Looks good. A nice view. I hope I can see things pretty well. I hope sometimes depending on your monitors and the streaming and all that kind of stuff, sometimes it's a little hard to tell. I hope people don't mind if I do a little bit of a quick save here. Oh, I also remembered um, under the settings here, I can get it to show me a heading to target. Boop, boop. So I got some information to target here. Ideally, this should be 128 degrees so that I'm going straight backwards at the target. But to be honest, I think it's pretty good. Oh, I'm coming over it. I'm 27 kilometers. There's a ridge here. It's not as, it's not as close as I think it is. Yes, we're on the other side of this little bay below us here, this little sea. All right. Let's see how we do. I think we're on the top of this hill. Looks to me like I actually have to come a little this way now. What's my trajectory look like? pretty good. I don't think this is doing anything for me. Well, you never know. Just want to push it a little more. Ah, uh, yeah, this is helping. A little more this way. Okay. I think I got uh, tricked a little bit by the planet's rotation. Got 107 meters per second left in this stage. And then we'll be on just the lander. But the lander itself has a lot. I'm not quite sure how much. Now I feel like I've gone too far this way. I'm also looking... I'm probably better off landing in this little, little area over this way anyway. Like in this zone. Because this looks like it's a hill. We are a rover, we can drive. We don't have to be right on it. <laughs> How's that looking? That's looking pretty good. Should switch that to terrain. Okay. Got a landing site over there. I've had quite a lot of Kerbal landings on Mimis. There is a station with a lander attached to it. I think I'm going to get pretty close to... Well, still quite a ways off. I might just kill my rotation and do it. Let's get those contracts back up. There we are. 
do it. Let's just do that. A lot of thrust. Okay, we are out, so we do lose that bit. And now we are on, and these are linear RCS thrusters that I've hooked to the throttle. They look great with real plume, that's for sure. Okay, let's kill off our velocity here. We are about a kilometer above the surface. Or our horizontal part of our velocity, anyway. Uh, it's a 10 degree slope by Kerbal Engineer below me, which I think should be okay. I hope it's okay. I gotta be mindful of electricity because we are solar pan powered. Well, that's our booster hitting the ground. <laughs> oh, I got pieces over there. I love, I love scattering debris. I don't have a shadow, so it's a little harder to judge. Might at some point see some blinky lights, so. 250 meters from the surface. Okay, about 50 meters from the surface. Let's slow down some more. Oh, more things hitting the ground. <laughs> oh, I see blinky lights on the surface. That's a good sign. We're down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I should have put the brakes on. <laughs> brakes on, brakes on, brakes on. I do have the brakes on, but I seem to be sliding. Um, let's also change this to, I think, command. And change the control point to forward. There we go. Because now we are a rover. Is this, by the way... Um, let's rename the vessel. Yeah, change it to rover. Because that's part of this contract. I got a feeling this time, yeah. See, this time here is just... We're, we're surveying now. So all we have to do for this second contract is wait for our two minutes to go up. I do have the brakes full on. But I don't know which way's forward... Okay, I can drive. I can drive. I can drive. Okay, we're on. We're we're on the we're on the surface. Let's turn SAS off, RCS off. We don't need the engines no more. There we go. We're down on the surface. We don't need this map. We got our waypoint over here. It might not be our closest though. So let's. I oh wait, turn on electricity. We gotta. We might run out of electricity while we're doing all this. Oh, which reminds me, let's turn off. Okay, that's not doing any, that's not doing anything. Okay, we're not doing any science. We've landed in a biome we've already been in before, so that kind of stinks, but at least we're not using that much electricity. Okay, uh, what I was going to do is open up Waypoint Manager. That's what I was going to do. Waypoint Manager, and it tells you your distance to each of these. We have Alpha 537 meters away, so it's our closest one, so let's highlight alpha alpha is right up the hill we actually went over it oh, oh how about turning off the brakes whoa gosh darn okay good thing we have powerful reaction wheels <laughs> nothing like a rover on minmus that's funny okay will it let uh okay take the brakes off for goodness sake silly SAS off. I hate rovers on Mimis. If the contract did not specify a rover, oh my gosh. Okay, let's turn off the reaction wheels. That often helps. Put the brakes back on. Because as I'm pushing W to go forward, it's also wanting it to tilt forward because that's the default control. But if I get in here and find... Oh no, the reaction wheels are up at the top. By the way, some people are noticing probably all these little down arrows for managing the various things. This is the one I'm looking for. Toggle the torque, disable the torque. These are coming from what's called uh, the KSP Community Fix, which is just a mod of various things that the KSP community... There we go. That's much better. 
that the case... Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> oh, I might need those reaction wheels. Maybe just turn the wheel authority down. Okay. Let's keep this pinning. Ah. Okay. Now the wheel. Thankfully, the wheels are more than enough to write this thing again. What if I just turn the wheel authority right down, turn them off again? Let's we're gonna have to experiment with this a little bit. There we go. Honestly on Min Miss, I much, much prefer building a lander and hopping from one place to the other. It's much better than building a rover. I also could have put RCS thruster blocks pointing down on the top of the rover. I only put thruster blocks down here at the bottom. For landing so i don't have any i could have put thruster blocks oh no this is working well now just a little bit of wheel authority that's much better but i could have put thruster blocks at the top to kind of push down on the surface that helps but honestly when i go to mid miss i prefer landers and hopper okay this contract's done awesome awesome this one we just got to visit our things um, there's, well, still got a lot of electricity, so that's good. We just got to visit our waypoints now. Okay, this is working. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, the community fix mod. Uh, the main reason I installed it is because you might recall from last week, uh, I had some crackeny part rotation things happening to me uh, with my space station and in particular with a space plane. And, oh, God darn, ding dong, ding it, dang, bang, uh-oh, 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 oh, dear. Okay, this is, the inevitable happens. I tried to turn, and I lost my solar panels. Okay, so this has become a very different kind of exercise now. This is certainly not, well, we're not in a biome, we're not in a biome in which we can collect science anyway. Okay, let's, we're going to write this thing. Right? Really? You don't want to go back up again? Oh, the torque has been disabled. I thought I, oh no. <laughs> okay, stop, brakes on, back up. Okay, I'm going the wrong way, I know that. Okay, I think turning off the torque. I had the torque off. I thought I had a little bit of torque. And I didn't. Now I do have the reaction wheels on. Okay, I should not have turned off those reaction wheels. Now I can I can correct for that roll. Okay. Ah, I, I turned down this wheel authority, but still had this toggled off. Were people saying that in the chat? Okay, now it's not a disaster. As long as I can finish off... <sighs> Stupid thing. Oh, brakes are still on. That doesn't help. As long as I can hit my three waypoints before I run out of electricity, this thing will be able to do everything that it was able to do anyway. Um, because we are in a biome I've already been in before. Okay, that is waypoint alpha. It is blinking, it is done, it's gone green over here. So our next closest one is Waypoint Charlie. Okay, where, where's Waypoint? Oh, it's over there, okay. I shouldn't, uh, I sh yeah, not, whoop, that's correct. And we're down again. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I disabled it again. Why do I keep doing that? Toggle torque. Oh my gosh. I disabled it again. Getting me into more and more trouble. Vroom, I'm doing a wheelie. Stop disabling the torque. That is your problem, dummy. So everything not to do with a rover is what I'm demonstrating here. <laughs> oh my gosh okay Let's turn the torque down feel comfortable doing that but just don't turn them off 
Okay, brakes are still on. How's this thing even going with the brakes still on? Okay, here we go. Got a kilometer to... At least now it's really... Unless I really hit hard. There's, you know, I've broken my solar panels. I still have a ton of electricity. There we go. I still got a ton of electricity because of these batteries here. Uh, this scanner, yes, the negative gravioli detector. Uh, it uses a ton of electricity. Actually, or maybe it's the seismic one. doesn't matter because neither of them are running because we are in a biome that we have been in before. So it really doesn't matter. That's why I have so much electricity. Which turns out now to be a good thing. Okay. Still has a lot of monoprop. I could have maybe run this to another biome. But the issue is, of course, you know, to do a hop to another biome. But, of course, it doesn't have the electricity to run anything anyway, so... I'm not really sure that really matters. Okay, so we're heading for Waypoint Charlie, right? Yeah, Waypoint Charlie. This Waypoint Manager mod is great. Saves you from having to always go to map view, click on waypoints, come back here. And also in the stock game, you don't see the waypoints in pilot view, which I think is really dumb. All right, about 450 meters away from Checkpoint Charlie. Tons of electricity. We're going to be able to do this easy. Electricity is not an issue. Maybe we can even send a Kerbal down here and fix those solar panels and make this thing into something functional. I don't know. Okay, to getting close to 200 meters from the waypoint should be, whoa, don't you even think about rolling on. I'm keeping the reaction wheels on now. Glad I put on the extra lights. All right. That should be clicking pretty soon. And then we just got beta left. There goes Checkpoint Charlie. And they're not called Checkpoint Charlie. I just can't help saying that. Okay, and then beta. Beta is, there's beta, so let's carefully turn. A two-wheeled turn here. Going down the hill now. All right. We get, uh our beta waypoint and then that will close this off contract will be complete yes John is saying it should be possible to repair the the solar panels with a with a repair kit and I agree um, and I believe in orbit about Minmus I have not only a lander I have not only Kerbals but I believe they have waypoint or repair kit so it is possible that we can come down here and fix this it's just a question of whether it's worth my time because all the science that this thing carries is also carried by the lander that's on the station that's in orbit around Mimis so does it really make sense to bring down a lander to fix to get science when it's science that's already on the lander if I'm hoping I'm making sense with that All right. All right, we should be good now. Oh my gosh. So much better now. Now I got I should have played with this before, but now that I have this wheel authority at 25%, uh it's low enough that it's not for it's not causing the craft to pitch forward, but it's high enough that when it starts to roll I can correct for it. 
So I should have had the wheel authority. This is a really tiny rover. It didn't need such strong reaction wheels. They're stronger than they're worth. Here's some little bit of those rock things. Okay, how far are we, by the way? 300, about 300 meters away. Then we're just going to park this and we'll be done. All right, all right, all right, all right. Should be starting to get at the blink, which should be finishing off this contract. So, I mean, the, we're meeting our mission objectives. We're going to start slowing down here. Oh, there we go. Okay. Brakes on. It's going to take a while just to slow down. <laughs> oh, this is such a silly game. 